Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to Bootleg Tips. Today we are talking about brining. For me, brining is extremely important for barbecuing or grilling or broiling or sauteing, anything that I want to add extra moisture and flavor to my meat. The key rule to brining is make sure that you have one cup of salt to a gallon of water and everything else is just icing on the cake as far as I'm concerned. I personally like to add a little bit of sugar to it to give a little more density and texture, but you can also add whole peppercorns to that cloves, you have maple syrup, and you don't have to use the high grade. You can also go with any store brand because we're just going for flavor, so it doesn't really matter if you're using expensive syrup or not. And a neat trick that I like to do so I don't always have to use wood chips in my grill, I go for mesquite flavoring or any other hickory smoked flavor that you could find. And I like to use, personally, fresh herbs. You don't have to use fresh herbs. If you have dry herbs in your cupboard, that's fine. But remember, dry herbs have a heavier concentrated flavor. So you might want to use about a teaspoon of this to, I'd say, maybe a quarter cup of fresh herbs. Bay leaves work wonderful. And guess what? Tea. You can use whole tea bags or you can use loose tea. Either way, it's still going to add really great flavor. And I always, always, always use garlic, fresh garlic, smash it, get it in that brine, let it set. Big thing always to remember, folks, is make sure that you put your meat in the refrigerator, let it brine for 24 hours, one cup of salt, a gallon of water, and you're good to go. This is Diane DeMeo, and if you want more tips, bootleg tips, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Today we are making a maple brined pork loin. What does that mean? Well, we're actually going to brine the pork in a little bit of a maple composition. 